down to the hangar. See if we can get some more money in from the hangar before the double money event runs out. Thank you very much, Dar. <laughs> I'm on my way there now, right now. Uh, yeah, we'll take this in. It needs a repair. I was using it for a couple things, took a few bullets, why not bring it in? I guess we can't really use these vehicles unless you have friends on the uh, cell missions anyway. Because they provide you cell vehicles and you have to use them. It'd be so much nicer if we could just do whatever, like it would make a lot more sense than you'd buy, you know, boxcar trucks and stuff like that if there was actually a purpose to them, you know? You could actually uh, put stuff in them. That'd be nice. All right. Hello there, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm the Mizenzok. Welcome back for more Grand Theft Auto Online. And we're going to run a uh, air freight, air cargo cell mission solo. So, generally speaking, uh, most people seem to think about 10 um, uh, sources, 10 freights, 10 cargos, is the, uh, the best way to do it solo. Oh, that's sourcing. Because basically, uh, above that, you might get more, too many vehicles to handle. Now, you, it is random like other things, so you could handle it all the way up, but uh, it gets more and more difficult, and there can be a ton of vehicles on the air smuggler missions. So we're going to sell our 10 narcotics that I got here. Yeah, maybe we'll get something different than the Sea Breeze. I think we've gotten the Sea Breeze a couple times, so we'll see if we get something different this time. Yeah, and I do believe this is for double money, too. So no bonus, unfortunately, at 10%, though, at uh, 10 out of 50 but as you can see, I got the 40 out of 50 getting ready for chemicals. Maybe we'll do a big sale one day, and that's at the 35% bonus. So it makes a big difference. All right. Sure you'd like to sell your stock of narcotics? Yeah, I sell it all over the place, so why not sell it out of our hangar, too? <laughs> there we go. What's going okay, on? Okay, then. If we can't beat our deep state surveillance squad, we can at least make life difficult for them by not staying still too long. Use the cargo, Bob, to drop containers right onto the buyer's truck. Then let's hope the money isn't traced. Okay. You guys see, oh, way over here. Way over there. I was about to go in and get a vehicle. Wow, that is a, not a convenient placement at all. <laughs> I'd spawn in a vehicle, but spawning in vehicles at the uh, at the airports and the uh, and the Fort Zancudo can be a little funny. Generally, it doesn't work in a lot of places. Most places. Cargo Bob 893. Jet Sam. So we're getting the Jet Sam Cargo Bob. Okay, enter the delivery vehicle. Total delivery, two. So we have two packages to deliver. And our global signal does not go off until you touch the vehicle. So we've talked about that before. Not to touch the vehicle until you're ready. All right, green or red? Let's let's take red. Collected the cargo. Up, up, and away. Be nice if there was two cargo bobs, because then I could. Uh, I wonder, can I use my own cargo bob? Probably can. Hmm. But if there was two cargo bobs, you could probably come back quicker by using one of your aircraft, land this, and spawn in a you know jet or something. And away you'd go. So I think I'm still alone. Yep. There was people here earlier, so. Having the solo, being alone in a session, you know, it does help. But you also get paid less in certain missions. I'm not sure about the air cargo ones, as far as high demand missions go and stuff like that. Yeah, so it can be beneficial to have a peaceful um, session and do it on there. I generally like to do them alone just because that way it keeps the mission clean for you guys so that you can see what what's needed to be done. Other players can always mess with you and most players already know that, you know, once you get into the game you kind of know that and that's not really the mission, you know. And to some newbies they might get confused or something thinking you have to go through all that, but really that's people interfering, not the mission. Ron says, looks like they've stopped for us, should make the drop easier at least. Position yourself above the truck before making the drop. Uh, okay. So you actually have to cargo bob it on there. Oh, now well you get a little cutscene. That's good. All right, go back and collect another. Sounds good, right? Let's 
Now, some of these missions, though, make me question the logic of them, you know? Like, why do I have to... Why doesn't the truck park closer? <laughs> why can't the truck come into the base? I mean, I have authorization. It's my my hangar. Can't we just load it up right from the back of the hangar? Or, like, what's the problem? <laughs> and if we need to be secretive, okay, all right. Well, okay, but why not just park the truck right out here somewhere or something? You know? No, no, it's got to be got to be over there. Oh, okay. I don't know. I know that Rockstar makes us work for the money and puts us at risk. You know, that's fine, I guess, right? Like, that's the game. But I wish sometimes they'd put a little bit more effort into um, being more realistic, you know? Or thinking it through a little bit more. <laughs> sometimes we're sitting there thinking, well, why would you ever do that, Rockstar? You're like, come on. Who in their right mind would do it like that? Alright, so now we're heading north. Check. We're still on our own. I wasn't worried about it. I'm just, you know, showing you guys you should be aware of the surroundings, aware of what's going on. It's hard to, because you're flying, you know, so it makes the, the map and the people and all that stuff all the more important to pay attention to when you're already flying. And morning is breaking. New event week tomorrow, new Tuesday tomorrow, when I check this out. Probably by the time you guys see this, there's already new news, but it takes time to get them up. So I have to see what happens. Still love all the scenery, and the sunsets, and the sunrises, and the clouds, and fog, and canyons, awesome stuff. Like I said before, I wish they would do like a, a single player DLC upload or update to the uh, to the online. I don't know if it's impossible these days, but based on all the changes they've made, but it'd be nice if they could put in, um, like when you go in a single player, there's more junk, more, more uh, you know, things flying around in the air, there's uh, um, more NPCs and more NPC objects, you know, like a, like a more homeless guys, say, but more homeless guys pushing a cart around, you know, whereas in this one, that guy's missing, and so is the cart, you know. And it'd be nice to have animals, of course, and birds, and and uh, there's uh, aircraft at the uh, airport missing. You know, I don't think these days they need to worry about the, that kind of balance, you know. With all the uh, gun running stuff and smugglers run stuff, I mean, what harm could you do with, uh, with passenger jets? Alright, there you go, buddy. Guns and ammunition. Oh, no, not guns and ammunition. Narcotics. Yep. Yeah. Charlie wants the parts if you can return that bird. Okay. Why isn't Charlie just asking me for this stuff? <laughs> oh. One-handed flying for a second there. Yeah, of course, and watch out for that camp there too. I, I kind of got it, cut it close to there, but I'm usually quick when I fly by. It's usually not a big deal though, though, that these guys can shoot at you. Alright, so at this point, guys, I think we've done it. Smugglers Run missions are a little weird this way. Um, you know, you've pretty much already made your money, I'm pretty sure. And I think I've had things go wrong here in the past and lost vehicles, and I didn't even know what was going on. But uh, you don't even need to worry about it, generally speaking, as far as I understand, once you've delivered the uh, delivered the cargo. At this point, it's, uh, it's a bonus, I think, to get this vehicle back. So we'll check it out, because we'll be back in a moment here. There's the hangar. Yeah, but I think the returning of the vehicle is uh, not necessarily needed. Alright, that's the first one with the Jet Sam Cargo Bob. Here you go, Charlie. Chop it up. No evidence. <laughs> we successfully delivered narcotics. 195,000. Delivered vehicle return. Bonus 1,000 RP. Brown cut, 5,000. So I guess we got a bonus 1,000 RP for the Jet Sam. So it's not really a big deal for uh, bringing these vehicles back, though. As long as you get your money, right? 
don't point that thing at my hangar. <laughs> All right. Hey, Ron. Well, you delivered. Yes. Not that I was expecting any different. No, you said not. you deliver, and you delivered. Yep. Because that's what you do. I what deliver. What you say. <laughs> the full payments come through. Nice. That's right. We delivered. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, take care. That's another uh, Smuggler's Run hangar, air cargo, air freight, depending on what you call it, uh, cell mission. Done solo. All by ourselves. Yep. And this time by Cargo Bob Jetsham. Nice and easy, actually, as long as other people don't interfere with you. Yeah. And if I had a friend, I probably, uh, well, they'd probably give me two cargo bobs. But if I did have a friend, I could always call in my cargo bob or a Pegasus cargo bob and, uh, and then uh, take maybe both at the same time. Yeah. Take care, everybody. See you again next time. Gonna go check in on Charlie. Maybe see if the bunker's ready for one more sale before the double money runs out, too. I wonder what Charlie does with all these parts.